Today is May 3rd, 2012. Now today, I'm going to talk about the universe. Alright? And, um, I usually don't make videos back to back like this. I made a video yesterday. Okay? May 2nd. But today is a special day. I consider a special day anyway. This is the only month in the year uh, that has three letters, all right? M-A-Y. And today is the third, all right? Now, what the universe is is not what white men really tell us it is, okay? Because he don't really know what it is and how it's made up. There's theories, but those theories, uh, a lot of them are incorrect. Okay, our ancestors knew about the universe, or the universes. Okay, and that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit and how it works okay i don't have all the answers but i'm gonna just tell you what i know okay now in school we taught that there's only one universe at least you know back then when i went to school one universe didn't really talk about much of it anyway they focused more on the solar system Okay, that's not the universe, all right? The solar system is just what it is. It's a solar system. There's plenty of solar systems in this universe. There's plenty of galaxies in this universe, okay? The, the universe is huge, all right? And I talked about in my last video about us increasing our lifespans with technology. Okay, if we were able to get a hold of the, the technology. It, it, it does exist. It does exist. But to get to it, is, is, it won't be easy. It won't. Alright? Now, one reason why I said we will have to increase our lifespans is because we have such short lifespans. Like I said last year in, in one of my videos a tree your average tree live longer than us okay and that's just a tree all right technically there's no such thing as time time is just the tool that we use to measure things to make sure we get to work on time we get off on time we get paid for our time and, and things like that. But technically, there's no such thing as time. None. Okay? Just eternal. Alright? Eternity. That's what the universe is. is eternity. But by us having such short lifespans, really time for us is a countdown. Okay? A countdown to our death. Alright? Which is sad, but it is. All right. But um, in order for us to really, those of us who were born here and 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 on Earth and held captive here right now as a slave, we have to increase our lifespans to explore just a small portion of the universe. Okay, that's why the Anunnaki is, is have as much knowledge as they have because they live for a long time. Okay, so the longer you live, the more exploring you can do. Okay? And uh, we will have to do something like that because our lifespans are very short and we can only do so much in order to travel the universe okay it could take hundreds or maybe even thousands of years 
to reach a certain destination. And um, that that's almost impossible for us. Okay, we would need to get it get there in one generation versus starting off now and our great 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 grandkids just making it to that uh that destination that we set. Okay? And that's not really uh feasible. Okay? I Meaning you have to raise babies and stuff like that and, and, and you know it's it's just too much. Whereas if you one generation okay with a long lifespan can make more of an impact than a span of generations trying to get there because that's how long it would take to get to certain destinations in the universe and I'm talking about traveling at faster than the speed of light okay and we traveling less than half the speed of light <laughs> probably won't make it there okay depends on what it is and what destination now I'm going to talk about things in, in the Bible a little bit okay because the Bible speaks about heaven. Space is heaven. Alright? It is. But within that heaven, there's another heaven. Alright? Another heaven. Well, I'm going to say a gateway to it. And... You, whoever resides within that gateway controls this universe, all right? And the, the best way I can break it down to you is you can consider a hard drive, a computer hard drive. Um to be a universe or uh, one of your little small sim cards or, or, or whatever a uh, 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 SD card or something like that because at one time the universe was small enough to where you could fit in your pocket all right but it has expanded so much to what it is okay how, how big it is and, and you know, it's, a, it's impossible to fit in your pocket. Now, of course. But, um, just think about it for a minute. A computer hard drive. You don't know what a hard drive is, I'll show you what it is, okay? This is a computer hard drive, okay? Standard three and a half inch hard drive. Your computer has one. If you have a laptop, it's two and a half inches. And it holds several gigabytes of, of data. Okay? This is a universe in my hand. Alright? Because it holds data. And this data can can be a world okay your world of photos your world of games all right your world of graphics whatever it is all right if it still don't make sense to you i'm gonna explain it i'm, I'm gonna go into a, into it a, a, a little deeper okay This hard drive is blank right now. Okay? N nothing on it. But the data that I put on it creates that world. Okay? And once you create that world, 
many, many different things exist in it. Okay? Just like the, the internet. The internet is the world, okay? Created by, believe it or not, loose knit hackers. Okay? Internet create wasn't created by Google or any other no, it was fucking created by hackers, okay? And then it turned corporate. But it was really created by hackers. Alright? I've been dealing with PCs since the, 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 the era of the, 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 the 386 DX. Okay, 386 and uh, 486. That was one of my first computers. Okay? We talking about like the the first Bush administration, the Gulf War. Alright? That's when I got my first computer. And um the thing about having this data on a hard drive, we are the data in the universe, okay? This is just program. You you use the computer that reads this reads this in, in zeros and ones. We are sound, okay? The universe is composed of sound. That's why as black folks we have rhythm, okay? It's in our nature to have rhythm. That's why we have soul. We can feel things. We blend in well within the universe that we live in okay who controls the data or the the computer that we live in technically it is a computer but it may not be like I, the computers that we'll used to use it but it is who's at the controls of this computer. When you go back to the Bible and you talk about so called God, okay? And the devil. The devil took control of God's creation. Alright? When you create something, and, and, and I know about programming. Okay? When you write a software program, you use different languages. It could be um, Python, Microsoft, uh, C++, and, and et cetera, et cetera, okay? But when you write your program and compile it, you are the god of that program. You are the god of that system. You created it from scratch. Okay? Just like the data on this hard drive. Okay? The virtual data. There's no data on that, but I'm just using it as an example. Okay? Your thoughts. Okay? Are really words. Okay? When you're thinking to yourself, you talking. It's words in your brain. It's signals. Alright? You just laying it down to this right here. Alright? That's why in the Bible it says God it, it commanded this and commanded that. Any software program will tell you, okay, when you program, you you using commands. Whatever it is you want to bring into existence on this, you using commands, software commands, okay? Well, the, the programming commands, all right? That's what you're doing. you creating it from scratch. That's what you're doing. And you become a god. But in computer terms, they call it a super user. Okay? A super user, a, 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 a hacker, or, or whatever. But the correct term would be a super user, a power user. Okay? 
And God really means power. That's all it really means. I say God damn all the time. Really and truly is power. Okay? That's all it is. And this is us inside of this universe, okay? We are the data pretty much. But you have roads, all right, at the controls right now. And I'm, ta I'm not talking about the reptilians. I'm talking about something else. Who, uh, what, I have no idea. And that's why we have the problems that we have, all right? Long before we existed, black folks, okay, on this planet, the Anunnaki had problems, all right? And I'm going to tell you what that problem is. Rulership. Okay? Ruling by bloodlines. What drives us to do such a thing? We don't really even know what drives us to do certain things. We just fucking do it. Okay? When you step back and look at certain things, and you wonder why does this have to be this way? That has to be that way or whatever. It's because the, the motherfucker that set the controls, okay? At that computer that controls this universe is putting them commands in, okay? We can choose to follow them. We can choose not to follow them. But by default, that's the command. All right? And until a lot of us really kind of understand that this shit might even be mind boggling, you probably be like, this nigga crazy. The hell is he talking about? Unless you're a programmer, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about, okay? You, you'll kind of get an idea. If you just going on the internet surfing, you know, play a few games here, play a few games there, you, you're not a power user. You're not. You're not a power user, so I can't expect you to grasp on to certain things that I'm saying. But what I'm really saying is we are in somebody's fucking computer, okay? Or something sim similar to a computer, and that's why we repeat history all the damn time. Okay, it's time to break the cycle. Now, as much as I hate the fucking reptilians, I know that there's something much, much deeper. Somebody much, much powerful that's running things because technically we're all in the same boat we are all right we are all in the same boat but the thing about it is we have the need to try to conquer each other and try to rule over each other okay those are the default commands have we ever lived in peace with one another hell no we haven't Cause you got this motherfucker over here that wanna wanna enslave your ass and rule over you and and things like that. What drives that, okay? And not many have really figured it out. What drives a a, a race of people to do such a thing? Okay? The default command. Whoever at the fucking controls is an evil bastard. Okay? That watch us 24-7. Know every damn thing about us. Alright? 
can come inside this universe at will and leave at will, undetected. Let me give you an example. In the Lost Book of Inky, there was this motherfucker named Galzu. Alright? As powerful as the Anunnaki were, Galzu scared the shit out of him. Why? Because Galzu knew all about the Anunnaki. Alright? And knew how to penetrate their defenses. Galzu in the Lost Book of Inky breached defenses twice. Alright? The most mysterious person in the Lost Book of Inky in the Samaritan text is Galzu. Galzu been watching the Anunnaki from day since the Anunnaki existed. Okay? Galzu knew all about him when Inky sent messages encrypted messages, okay? To his daddy, Anu, or some say Anu, Galzu knew what it said. And sometimes even twisted and manipulated it to his benefit. That's the first breach. The second breach, right before the flood, the great flood in the Bible, known as the Great Flood in the Bible anyway, Galzu popped up again. Okay? In Inky's bedroom. In his bedroom. Alright? And gave him the tablet to build the ark for Zedra. Okay? Zedra was white. Right? And uh, Zedra is known as Noah in the Bible. Let's clear that up. But to, pe to penetrate Inkis, to, to get in his bedroom, okay? You had to go through, first you had to go through the guards. You gotta get past the technology, lasers and shit, okay? That wasn't easy. This is somebody that came from outside the solar system. Alright? The son, the firstborn of Anu. Anything happened to Inky, people was gonna die. Alright? The gods was gonna get was gonna die. Because the blame would have fell on them if something would have happened to Inky. So they risked their lives to watch it. Okay? They were on watch when he was in his when he was in his bed sleep. Okay? You wasn't getting in there. If you flesh and blood, you are not fucking getting in there at all. That was almost guaranteed death. Or you you, you wish you you would have wished you was dead. If you made an attempt to breach, make a breach like that, okay? Guys who did it with no trouble. Okay, pure stealth. It was so fucking stealth, Inky had to go ask the guards, have y'all seen anybody come down this way? Nobody came in, nobody came out. That's what the guards told him. We ain't seen nobody. Okay? Now, for a lot of you folks, it, it, it might not seem like nothing. But I'm going to tell you, when you're traveling into the solar system, okay, you have to be equipped with better technology than there is today. All right? The white man can't even travel out of this goddamn solar system, okay? He can't. Because, it, first of all, his lifespan, okay, it takes some time 
It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of food. It takes a lot of resources, all right? This is a big solar system. Big solar system. But they travel from, from, they, from Nibiru to this solar system equivalent to flying from New York to LA, all right? That's how easy it was for them to do. And Galzu, this mysterious person, show, showing up. The Anunnaki was convinced at that time, look, this man is a messenger of God, okay? The almighty creator. Because they knew that it couldn't be no other way. Who could know all of this? Who could have done all of this? The person at the controls, all right? They make appearances to powerful people, good or bad, in this universe to manipulate things the way they want it. Okay? And um, the, when the universe first started off, it might have been somebody else in the controls. Alright? It's like I'm sitting in the seat. I'm in my own little world. Okay? The world we live in. But once I get on the computer, Okay, that's the world I put together. Through software. First with the operating system. Okay, the OS. Regardless of which one it is. If it's Microsoft, it's proprietary, you can't really do too much. If it's Linux, you can shape it and mold it the way you pretty much want to. Okay? Get the operating system on there and, and start uh, programming and loading up some shit. Make it suitable for me. Whoever's at the controls right now is more than likely an evil, evil bastard. Okay? Maybe the good person that was on the controls got hijacked, killed, or lost his way. Okay? But the thing about it is something's going on. Okay? That, that a lot of people don't know nothing about. Including the reptilians. They probably don't even really know the, how they how the fuck they got here. But one thing's for sure, there's a war at the controls. Alright? There's a war. And this war didn't start in this universe. It started out of this universe. And another realm. That's how we came to be. Alright? in this universe. If you want to look, take the Bible and look at it for certain things, the God and the devil fight in this realm, okay? The, in the Bible, the devil was kicked out of the kingdom of God. He was once an a, 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 a angel, an angel, okay? What you can say, a program, okay? In the realm of God, Almighty God, okay? And according to the Bible, the devil was kicked out. Two rebellions. Technically, there were two rebellions, okay? Took some angels with him. 
and fuck it, we'll do our own thing. Now what this devil look like, I don't know. Before it came with devil anyway. Alright. Now this angel known as Lucifer or whatever could have could have hijacked the controls. Or created his own system and sent these goddamn reptilians here for us to deal with. Okay? As part of the rebellion. Starting to make a little sense to you? It ain't no question that the reptilians fucking exist. Where they come from? Nobody really seems to have any clear answers about that. Just like we, they don't know where the hell we came from. Okay? The human race. Where did the human race come from? And why are we human? And why are they reptilian-like? Look all fucked up. They ain't really nothing human. Of, they the opposite of being human. The total opposite. That's something to think about. That's something for you black folks to think about. Any place that these goddamn reptilians go to, they fuck up everything. They good. They do good things too. But it don't outweigh the bad. The bad outweigh the good with them. Just like with white folks. Okay? And I know a lot of you white folks watching and pissed off. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm telling the truth. Y'all fucked up everything in this planet. And I'm not saying there wasn't no bad black folks bad Negroes on the planet. Hell yeah it was, but y'all asses surpassed that. Okay, y'all bought evil to a new level. Okay? Not only conquered, but conquered evil as well. Evil that was already in the land, y'all was so fucking evil you conquered that. Okay? So don't tell me that y'all good. Y'all ain't good. Fuck no. You don't even put up the fight to really stop yourselves, even though it's white folks controlling shit, okay? Running shit on the planet. You got the motherfucking oil leaking out in the gulf because of y'all ass. All right, because of y'all. You can't, you, well, who you gonna blame? The Arabs for that? You gonna blame black folks for that? It's y'all motherfuckers, all right? That's fucking up stuff. And just, you know, don't, don't even give a damn. You don't respect this land. You don't, you don't respect the earth. You don't respect those who came before y'all asses. That's why you gotta go. You have to go. You ain't trying to make shit better. None of that. You expect black folks not to have a say so. In our native fucking land. Okay? Oh, nigga, shut up. This, this plan is for, uh, for us. No, it ain't. We existed long before you white folks. Long before, and we still will exist after. Y'all fucking up every damn thing. Japan also, the goddamn radiation leaking. What kind of bullshit is that? And they're lying about it. That bitch ain't culture. Oh, radiation is good for you. You lying motherfucking bitch. You need some motherfucking slapping. 
That's the kind of shit I'm talking That kind of arrogance. Pure fucking arrogance. That's why a lot of you white folks, y'all need to fucking go. You need to go. You dragging everybody else into y'all shit, all right? Tell me if I'm lying or not. Huh? Who killed more people on the earth? Y'all motherfuckers. Okay, y'all. You can't live in peace with nobody. Not even among yourselves. Fuck it up every damn thing. Every damn thing in the earth. Every damn thing is damn near driven by profits. If it ain't white, it ain't right. Huh? That's y'all fucking in town. They get pissed at black folks. When we get pissed off at you for fucking up shit. You wouldn't make enemies all around the world. It ain't just us you fucked over. How the hell you gonna have that many enemies in the earth? And still be arrogant enough to just fucking flaunt. Like there's nothing wrong. Like white. Like like y'all were meant to rule the earth. When you still babies. There's, that is arrogance. I, I, I mean pure arrogance. Do you think some fucking extraterrestrials wanna 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 talk? Wanna intervene with y'all? Wanna 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 communicate and, and make contact with y'all? When they see how how y'all done fucked up the earth, that that's how fucked up in the head y'all are. Huh? City and all that shit. If I was a fucking extraterrestrial, I wouldn't want to make contact with y'all bastards. Hell nah! After seeing your motherfucking history? You done conquered every goddamn nation on the earth? And you want to make contact with us? And a couple of hundred years later, a thousand years later, we'll be at war with y'all asses. Huh? Because you came too arrogant, you became too arrogant to pull that Christopher Columbus bullshit on some extraterrestrials. They ain't falling for that shit. They not. And if they dealing with some of you white folks, it's because they just like y'all asses. Birds of a fellow flock together and they gonna fuck over you. Hmm? They are gonna fuck over you. If you think I'm lying about it, Stephen Hawking said the same goddamn thing. That if extraterrestrials come here, they're gonna pull the same shit, the same stunt Christopher Columbus came that did on you white folks, cause they see how y'all are. They see how fucked up y'all. What can you offer extraterrestrials that they can't fucking get themselves? They ain't talking about the reptilians. What the fuck can you white folks offer them? Besides some stolen goddamn technology. Some pirated technology that y'all done boosted off of another craft. Huh? Shot down a damn craft and, and looted the, de the goddamn craft. Hmm? What can you offer? Peace? Love? Happiness? Bitch, you can't offer them shit that they can't get themselves. Not a damn thing. They would not want to even fucking it, be bothered with y'all asses. When the rest of the fucking nations on this earth living under your goddamn oppression, bitch, you sick. You fucking white folks are sick. All right? You are fucking sick. That's crazy. And that's why y'all fucking need to go. 
this sickness that y'all have mentally. You probably say, nigga, you sick mentally. No. I acknowledge right from wrong. I know how far to go with certain goddamn things. If you white folks, there's no limit. Like I say, you don't respect shit. Nothing. You don't respect the goddamn land. You gonna dig it up uh, tombs and shit in Egypt? Shit that ain't for you. If it was, y'all, if the so-called Egyptians were white, the fuck you need to dig up the, the, the tombs for? If y'all motherfuckers buried them in the first place, it was us, the black folks. All right? All this goddamn propaganda that y'all putting out. And I'm not talking about you white folks on Main Street, but y'all guilty as well for going along with that bullshit. That's why y'all need to go. You need to fucking go. In order for the rest of the goddamn planet to survive, y'all motherfuckers need to go. All right? You more of a problem than a damn solution. Unless you take up arms and go after your own fucking kind, the straightness to, to, to do what's right. It's better to do one fucking thing supremely well than mean it badly, all right? And y'all doing too many goddamn things that's bad. Too many. Okay? You making more fucking enemies. Not just here on Earth, but out in space as well. All right? And that's bringing the heat on black folks also. Because if y'all motherfuckers run the goddamn planet, and you can get fucked up and, and cross the wrong goddamn extraterrestrials, okay? They ain't gonna be coming here to separate and say, we just gonna get the white folks that's here. No, they gonna do all of our ass. And I'd be goddamn if I don't sit back and just let you motherfuckers just run shit. If I'm gonna die, it's gonna be because of some shit I done. If black folks gonna die, it's be because of some shit that we done done. Not because of some shit that y'all done went and did. That we ain't never had a say so in the first place. Huh? It's bad enough you came here and fucked up everything. But you out there fucking up uh, shit as well and make your more enemies. Hell no. You white folks have to fucking go. You gotta go. You gotta go. If you more of a fucking problem than a solution, you have to go. The whole goddamn planet can't be doomed because of y'all asses. Mm -mm. You got to fucking go. You gotta go. And I don't understand what y'all don't understand about that. Because I'm, I'm kicking some real truth, all right? This ain't got shit to do about racism, okay? It's about y'all going fucking up stuff. Fucking up stuff, dragging everybody else into y'all goddamn problems. And and a, a lack of respect. If y'all asses have been here longer than the history of books, say y'all have been here, there wouldn't be no earth left. Ah, uh, there wouldn't be none left. Hell no. Nah. Not at all. That's why I understand a lot of you motherfuckers in the NSA, FBI, CIA, okay, and any other group. How the fuck y'all gonna just let this shit go down the way it is? Huh? You can make all the fucking plans that you want. Contingency plans. And we all know that if you make a plan all you fucking want, 
shit ain't gonna go down the way you always planned it to go down. And that's gonna be a lot of fucking betrayal. I got to say betrayal is a motherfucker. And you white folks known for turning on people, especially your own kind. Especially your own kind. How the fuck your boss get the job? He didn't turn on some motherfuckers, got people killed and shit. Okay? You don't get it. You can be a sitting duck if you want. I'm not gonna be a fucking sitting duck. I'm not. You motherfuckers fuck up every goddamn thing. Everything. You have a choice in a better position to make some shit right by just stepping on some damn toes. You ain't even think about your goddamn kids and your future generations. Ah, you ain't think about that. You thinking about what's right now. Hmm? The oil in the Gulf ain't stopped yet. The radiation ain't stopped yet. You motherfuckers right here, just right here with us. Right here with us, breathing that shit and drinking it. That's why I don't understand. Oh, you that fucking brainwash to think that somehow it affects everybody else but don't affect you? Y'all white folks gotta go. You got to fucking go. It's been long enough, y'all ain't doing shit to, to try to change shit. And I'm talking about real change. I ain't talking about going to the goddamn voting booth and casting a vote. Uh-uh. Hell no. Nah. I ain't talking about getting pissed off at the black man who ain't really got shit in the first place. The shit he do get, y'all can take it back. With just a, with a pen and paper, you can take it back. Take it all back. Making war with other countries. That ain't even never fucking kill your kids. They ain't never killed nobody in your family. The fuck you fucking other people fuck? Cause somebody else wanted done? Some motherfucker in a high position that don't give a shit about you or your family want this, want this group of people over here dead. You tell them to, look, you go, you go get them. Y'all ain't got that kind of backbone. You white folks don't stand up to each other. But you stand up to a nigga like it ain't nothing. Huh? Even though the nigga ain't got no kind of fucking influence on your life. It's white folks that got influence on your life. You stop fucking with niggas because the niggas ain't your problem. He's not. It's the white folks that's your problem. If you die, your ass gonna die because of white folks. It ain't gonna be because of no nigga like me. It's gonna be because of you motherfuckers. That's who it's gonna be. That's who it's gonna be. Bitch, if you think I'm lying, look at your history. Look at your history. That's all you gotta fucking do. Stop being pussies and stand up and do the right fucking thing. Do the right fucking thing because you don't do the right thing. We gonna do the right fucking thing. And your ass ain't gonna have no place in this earth. You not. You are fucking not. You motherfuckers will be wiped out. You making enemies in the whole goddamn planet and out in space. Reptiles ain't gonna be able to protect your ass. All right, because they, they already, they, they bosses you on the fucking run. Time is running out. 
is running out. You white folks need to get off that dumb bullshit and recognize you are more of a threat to your fucking self than black folks. The, ra the races of Negroes are the nationality of Negroes on this earth. You the only ones that drop some fucking nukes on people. They go stall for country. Every fucking country you white folks go in, you fuck it up. You oppress the people. You give them diseases. Their morality gets gone. And it, it turns into a hellhole. It turns into total fucking chaos. Like King Midas touch, you motherfuckers touch it and you grip it, it's gonna turn sour. It's gonna turn bad. You still got a chance to change. I don't hate you white folks because fuck, we all human. But goddamn, if it comes to the saving my people, okay, on this fucking earth, Fuck that. Whatever means necessary. Especially when you part of the fucking problem. If you can't comprehend that shit. If you cannot. You can't be helped. You cannot. If you can recognize right from wrong within your own. Why not look at it from a universal standpoint? This ain't your fucking universe. This ain't even your damn planet. It's not. Do the right thing. That's all I can tell you. Do the right motherfucking thing. And people will start to like your ass. Start to respect you. Re I'm talking about respect, not fear. Because a lot of other nations fear your asses. Fear, F-E-A-R. I know this is hard for me to talk. It sound like I'm mumbling and shit, but a lot of other nations fear you more than they respect you. Do the right thing. Do the right fucking thing. Even if it's the hardest thing for you to do, do it. Do it. How far are you going to let it be? Or how, how worse are you going to let things get? Before we get the fucking upper hand. Or either we destroy all of us. Because you pissed the wrong fucking race of ETs off. And they say to hell with it. They kill each other anyway. The rest of the nations are conquered. They, the rest of the nations ain't doing shit to get from up under their goddamn foot. We might, we'll, they'll be better off there. I'm not trying to let shit get like that. Because you fucking know it can happen. You motherfuckers know it can happen. And that's why I don't understand. You, you ain't thinking about your future generation. Fuck what your boss say. Fuck all the other policy, that bullshit, okay? Because that's exactly what it is. You've been in that organization long enough, you know it's bullshit. You get fed a bunch of fucking lies. And you get the runaround. 
You know your goddamn boss ain't right. Might not even be human. Might be posing as human. But you know he ain't right. You know he ain't. How many people he done had to murder to get to that position? How many vets have he had to stab to get to that position? How many throats have he had to cut to get to that position? I'm done talking to you white folks. I'm done talking to you white folks. If you don't get it, you gonna get it. If you don't fucking get it, you gonna get it. And that gonna be the way you think it. Can't just sit back and let shit go down the way it's going. Now, before I got off topic about the whole universe, that's all I had to say about it, pretty much. Right now, anyway. That there's something going on, much bigger than we, we think, than the real talk, okay? We are in somebody's computer something similar to it, okay? And the thing about it, once you realize it, you might be able to do something about it. I'm pretty sure the Anunnaki, they didn't they figure figured that shit out. Ben figured it out. If they done something about it, I don't know. I have no idea. But, um, take that information, take that thought, that theory, or whatever you want to consider it, and just think about it. Just think about it. The universe was once small enough to be fit inside of a pocket. That's a known fact. Okay? And with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Y'all be smart, be safe, take care of one another.